Hey, thanks for checking out Next Level Carpentry in this video where I'll show you a slick master carpenter's secret that I'll use for attaching shiplap cedar boards to the steel frame door. I don't have time for fancy video production, but I wanted to show you this little secret while I have the opportunity. There's more than a few videos on YouTube showing various ways of fastening wood to steel, but this is the method I use when I need the fasteners to be discreet. I made these four pieces of custom shiplap siding out of rough sawn 1x8 cedar boards. And this stuff ain't cheap or inexpensive these days. And they get attached to this custom welded steel door frame here. And the last thing I want is mega screw heads visible on the face of these boards when the door is complete. I call this a master carpenter's secret because I've never seen anyone anywhere using the method that I came up with that allows me to drive these discrete GRK Torx head trim screws into a welded steel framework. But it's so stupid simple, anyone can do it. And FYI, I made this door frame out of one inch by two inch hollow steel tube like this. This stuff is 13 gauge, that's 0.937 inches, or a little over 564 of an inch thick. For those of you who live in the developed world, the metric equivalent is 5.64 millim inches. To keep alignment simple, the first step is to put each piece of shiplap in its place. Next, I spend a minute doing accurate screw layout for aesthetics. And then the magic happens. I get a 1 8 inch driblet out of the drill index and then drill through each layout mark far enough to put a dimple in the steel tube. This obviously marks each screw's location so I can remove the board and finish drilling the hole using a dip of cutting oil, aka Kutnarl to some folks, to make drilling faster and the bit last a bit longer. FYI, this method works with other screws and steel of different thicknesses, but you need to adjust accordingly. Next, I wipe off oil and chips and drop the board back into its place. Now I can grab my screw container and, for this combination of width thickness and steel size, I use trim screws that are 1 and 3 8 inches long. These fasteners use the tiny T10 size driver that easily drives them through cedar and into steel for a strong but subtle attachment, just like that. With everything in place, lined up and pre-drilled, it takes just a minute to drive all the screws for this one. Note that I'm leaving the screw heads proud of the surface because I need to remove the boards again to have the door frame and jam powder coated before final assembly and installation. I'll put a link to Amazon in the video description for tools and supplies I used here, along with links to Spring for swag, Patreon for anyone motivated to go above and beyond to support videos like this from Next Level Carpentry, and finally, to a tip the teacher link at PayPal if you're so inclined. With all the screws driven, I carefully mark the door bottom with a straight edge, trim it off evenly, and finish up by deburring it with an 80 grit best block for demanding sanding. And now, last but not least, I'll do some jujitsu with the door, flipping it over twice to first start and then finish drilling a two and an eighth hole through the shiplap siding to accept the doorknob later. This is an easy way to do it, and as long as I don't drill a hole in the top of my table saw, it's a good way to do it. And finally, if I did everything right, the door is ready to join back up with the hinges in the frame. And now you know my master carpenter secret for attaching wood to steel like this. If you like this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Next Level Carpentry if you haven't already. Or at least poke that thumbs up button before you go. And I guess I did imply that this would be a short video. So, as always, until next time, thanks for watching. Yep, I'm still here, and I figured you'd still be watching. And I know, if I don't give full disclosure, I'll never hear the end of it. Yes, the little custom door I just screwed shiplap siding to 
is the door to an outhouse. Patrons of Next Level Carpentry on Patreon know the full story to this unique and rather involved outhouse project. But for everyone else, at least now you know that your hunch was right. Ha <laughs> ha.